So, the DJI Mini 5 Pro leaks have been everywhere lately, and instead of chasing every little rumor, I thought we'd just put it all together in one place. No brand new surprises here, just a full roundup so you know exactly what's been leaked and what's worth paying attention to. But before we dive into this, let me ask, are you subscribed yet? If not, go ahead and tap that button. And hey, if DJI's engineers are watching this, you might as well subscribe too, since your secrets keep slipping out anyway. The first thing people noticed in the leaked photos, that familiar foldable mini frame, small, compact, pocket friendly, but then there's that C0 classification sticker, basically the EU UK style marking that suggests it stays under the 249 gram limit, the tiny label with big implications. If this turns out to be real, and honestly it seems pretty solid, it means DJI somehow kept the drone under the 250 gram mark while cramming in tech usually found on heavier models. That's honestly the most hyped part of these leaks. And then, props, forget the fiddly screws, rumors say DJI is swapping to a tap and twist quick release prop system. Twist off, twist on, done. If you've ever stripped a screw while swapping blades, you know, this is a massive quality of life upgrade. Sure, the props cost a bit more now, but I think that's a pretty fair trade-off. But here's the showstopper, the camera. A 1-inch sensor paired with a 24mm equivalent lens and a bright f1.8 aperture. That's a serious leap from the Mini 4 Pro's smaller sensor. Bigger sensor means more detail better colors, and way better low-light shots. It's edging into air-class image quality, which is wild for something this small. Creators are gonna love the extras, too. True vertical shooting, a gimbal that reportedly rotates up to 225 degrees or even 330 degrees, and a slick 48mm telemode. That means you can go from wide scenic shots to tighter cinematic frames all in one flight. We will know how effective they are once the drone is released and get to compare them with Air 3S. Video is also getting an upgrade. 4K up to 120fps, 4K at 60HDR, and 10-bit color modes, so whether you're chasing smooth slow motion or deep cinematic grades, the Mini 5 Pro should deliver. In short, the Mini 5 Pro is shaping up to be a creator's dream. Now on to sensors. This is where DJI might surprise us, rumors say LiDAR could finally make its mini debut. Specifically, the frontal LiDAR for obstacle detection, backed up by omnidirectional vision-based sensors for the rest. What does that mean in practice? Safer flying in low light, better active track, and a smarter return to home that knows exactly where to stop. Basically, it gives the mini night vision and a brain upgrade. Battery life is another highlight. Despite packing in more processing power and LiDAR, flight time might actually improve. Leaks suggest around 36 minutes with the standard battery and up to 45 to 50 minutes with the plus battery. Some reports even hint at possible compatibility with Mini 3 and 4 Pro batteries, which would be super convenient if you already own them. Oh, and leaked pricing hints that batteries could actually be cheaper than before. Didn't expect DJI to go easy on our wallets, but here we are. For transmission, expect OQSync 4 Plus with up to 25 kilometers of range in perfect conditions. Basically stronger, cleaner signal, less chance of losing your feed mid-flight. Launch rumors are pointing at September 16th, 2025, not official yet, but close enough to get excited. And as for price, the standard combo is likely around, around 760 to about 1000 bucks with the Flymore combo hitting roughly $1,200 to $1,500. Right in line with the Mini 4 Pro, but with way more power. As for accessory pricing, DJI seems to have lowered the cost of flight time upgrades, which makes them way more tempting. The standard intelligent flight battery dropped from $99 to $69, roughly 30% cheaper. The Plus battery, down from $145 to $99. That one gives you longer flight time, but yep, it does push the drone over the 249 gram limit, so keep that in mind. Still, for spares and replacements, that's a solid saving. Charging hub and ND filters, pretty standard. $49 for the hub and $55 for filters. But here's the twist. The filter sets are actually different. The Mini 5 kit lists ND8, 32, and 128, while the Mini 4 Pro set was ND16, 64, and 256. So the filter strengths aren't a direct match. Propellers though? Ouch, they've gone up from $9 on the Mini 4 Pro to $19 for the Mini 5 Pro. Maybe that's because of a new quick release system or better materials, but either way, they cost more. Same with the propeller guard. On the Mini 4 Pro, the guard alone was $29, but for the Mini 5, it's $69. 
Though to be fair, that includes both the guard and propellers. And then there's Care Refresh. The one-year plan looks about the same, but the two-year coverage for the Mini 5 actually seems cheaper than what we saw on the Mini 4 Pro. Could be a retailer-specific thing, or maybe DJI just wants to make the upgrade path a little smoother this time around. Um, so overall, it feels like DJI is shifting the cost balance. Consumables like props and guards are pricier, but the bigger ticket items like batteries and hubs are more affordable. Makes sense if they want people to invest in flight time upgrades instead of holding back, but remember, all of this is based on leaked pricing. Nothing's official until DJI lists it on their store, so take it as likely, but not guaranteed. If everything lines up, the Mini 5 Pro could become the lightweight drone to beat pro-level imaging, smarter safety, long flight times, all under that 249 gram sweet spot. It's not just an upgrade, it's DJI flexing hard in the mini category. All right, so before we wrap up this video, we weren't actually planning to dedicate a whole piece to the DJI Mic 3, but honestly, the upgrades here are just too good to ignore. So yeah, let's dive in real quick. If you've been following DJI's teasers, you probably saw the campaign with the tagline, performance that speaks. Well, they weren't kidding. The Mic 3 is officially dropping on August 28th, 2025. Now what's new? A lot. First off, multi-channel support. This is the headline feature. The Mic 3 can reportedly handle four transmitters and sync with up to eight receivers at the same time. Compare that to the Mic 2's limit of just two transmitters. And yeah, this is a game changer. Perfect if you're running multicam interviews, podcasts, or bigger productions where multiple people need mics. It's also keeping the clip-proof 32-bit float recording from the Mic 2, which means no more stressing about distorted audio if someone suddenly laughs way too loud. On top of that, DJI is adding adaptive gain control. So the system can automatically adjust levels depending on how quiet or noisy your environment gets. Basically, your audio stays smooth and balanced without you fiddling with settings. There's also a new dual-level noise reduction system, better than the intelligent noise cancellation from the last gen. So whether you're in a quiet studio or outside with wind and traffic, the Mic 3 should give you cleaner sound. And for anyone editing big projects, here's a killer upgrade. Time code sync. This is pro level stuff. It means your audio and video from multiple sources line up instantly in post. No more messing around trying to match waveforms manually. Now let's talk range and reliability. Transmission range. Up to 400 meters in open space, that's more than a quarter mile. It'll also auto switch between 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz bands. So even in crowded areas with tons of interference, your signal stays stable. Battery life also got a nice bump. Each transmitter is rumored to last 14 hours, and with the charging case, you're looking at up to 28 hours total runtime. That's a big step up from the Mic 2's 18 hours. And oh, it's actually lighter than the Mic 2, which is wild considering all these new features. And as for what you get in the box, the leaked retail kits suggest two transmitters, one receiver, the charging case, windscreens, magnetic clips, plus your usual cables, USB-C, and 3.5 millimeter TRS. So yeah, while this wasn't gonna be its own video, the DJI Mic 3 definitely deserves a spotlight. It's shaping up to be one of the most powerful and creator-friendly wireless mic systems out there. With that said, we are at the end of this video. Hope it was helpful and catch you in the next one. Peace.